Hi, in this video we're being asked to find the perimeter of the sector, of this sector, to three significant figures. Okay, so our sector is a part of a circle. We're given the radius over here is 14 centimeters, and the angle um, that our sector is making is 115 degrees. So to find the perimeter is the distance all the way around. So if that here is 14 centimeters, this is also a radius, so this here is also going to be 14 centimeters. So it's important to recognize that there. So um, I now know this distance and this distance altogether is going to give us 28 centimeters. So I want to work out what this distance here is. Okay, so we call this an arc. Okay, so we're looking for this arc length here. So, well, if this was a whole circle, I can work out the circumference of a whole circle by doing pi times the diameter. And the diameter in this case is going to be, well, the radius is 14, so the diameter is going to be 28. So I can do pi times 28. Pi times the diameter. But that would be for a whole circle. I haven't got a whole circle here. I've got a fraction of the circle and I've got 115 360ths of a circle. That's the fraction of a circle I've got. There are 360 degrees in a full circle and I've only got 115 degrees. So I want to do 115 360ths of this pi times diameter. So I'm going to times it by pi times the diameter. Okay, so I then want to add on to this, this 14 and 14 here. So this 28 here, I'm going to add that on. So plus 28. So my perimeter is going to be equal to this calculation here. This bit here is going to be the arc length, 115 360 times pi times the diameter. And I'm going to add on this 14 and this 14 over here so that's where the plus 28 comes from okay so now using my calculator I can say right I've got 115 360th times pi times the diameter which is 28 and I also want to add on this extra 28 here And that gives me to three significant figures, 56.1 centimeters. It's a perimeter, so my answer is going to be a length. So it's going to be 56.1 centimeters. Okay, so this here is going to be the answer to the question. However, I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to say, well, what if I wanted to find the area of the sector? I want to know the area of the sector. So that's how much space this sector fills. Well, I know for the area for a full circle is going to be pi times the radius squared. I'll write that over here. The area of a full circle is going to be pi times the radius squared. And in this case, the radius is 14. So I've got pi times 14 squared. That would be for a whole circle, but again, I've got 115 360ths of a circle. So I want to do 115 360ths of pi times the radius squared. So in my calculator now, I can do 115 360ths times pi times 14 squared and that gives me a, to three significant figures that would be 197 centimeters squared 197 centimeters squared so I didn't need to work out the area here but if I wanted to work out the area um, that's how I would do it I don't need to add anything on because this has worked out the space inside this sector. 
Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.